Sweet potatoes are a staple at my house. Not only do they take del taste delicious, but they are high in nutrients and store well. In addition, they are hardy and have few pests or diseases. Sweet potatoes are a separate species from regular potatoes and need very different growing conditions. They are, in fact, related to morning glories, as you can see here. Sweet potatoes are native to tropical forests in Central America and love hot, moist weather. My grandfather used to tell a story about his mother's baking sweet potatoes in the early morning of winter. Then the kids would put them in their pockets and go to school. This would keep his hands warm as he walked to school, and then he would eat his sweet potato for lunch. Hi, I'm Amy, and welcome to my channel. I just published my latest book on vegetable gardening in Zone 6. You can find links to my books and my author page in the description. Sweet potatoes are a tuber that grows underground. The classic color is orange, but some varieties are yellow or purple. The most common way to plant sweet potatoes is by slips. They can, you can purchase slips from a seed company or you can start your own. They are essentially sprouts that emerge from the sweet potato when it's placed in a warm, humid environment. One way to grow slips is to place an untreated sweet potato in water. When the slips are about six inches long, cut them about an inch above the potato and put them in water. They will then develop roots and leaves. Potato slips are cold sensitive, so seed companies wait for warm weather before they ship them. For zone six, that's usually early May. If you cannot plant your slips right away, put them up, upright in a vase of water. The leaves and stems should be sticking out the top, kind of like flowers. In some nurseries, you can also purchase potted sweet potatoes. Plant sweet potato slips after the last frost date. They like warm nights, 55 degrees Fahrenheit or 13 degrees Celsius, so I often wait until late May or even early June. They prefer to have daytime temperatures between 80 and 95 degrees. The soil temperature should be at least 60 degrees Fahrenheit or 16 degrees Celsius before you plant them. Space the slips 12 to 18 inches apart in rows and space rows three to four feet apart to allow room for the vines to spread. Gently plant the slips three to four inches deep and ensure that the root system is well covered with soil. Water the newly planted slips thoroughly. Sweet potatoes are often planted in hills because they like warm soil and they need good drainage. They are heavy feeders, so a good layer of compost. In addition, digging in or side dressing with kelp meal or azomite will meet their needs for micronutrients. Keep the soil consistently moist, but not waterlogged, especially during the first few weeks after planting. Regularly remove weeds that compete with sweet potatoes for nutrients and water, but be careful not to disturb the roots. Sweet potatoes are typically ready for harvest three to four months after planting, once the foliage begins to yellow and die back. Gently dig up the tubers, taking care not to bruise or damage them, and allow them to dry in the sun for a few hours then cure them in a warm, humid place, such as a greenhouse that is above 80 degrees Fahrenheit and has 80 to 90% humidity for 10 to 14 days. Curing helps sweet potatoes develop their sweet flavor and allows minor injuries to heal, prolonging their storage life. After curing, store them at 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius. Sweet potatoes are very sensitive to frost, which will kill the leaves. This is the sweet potato horn worm, similar to the more common tomato horn worm, but brown. They are more common in the southern states, but have been popping up as far north as Canada, and I know they have been spotted in Kentucky. 
They are the caterpillar stage of the pink spotted hawk moth. Chickens will eat hornworms. Also in winter, a treat of cooked sweet potatoes is a healthy and nutritious snack for your chickens. Sweet potatoes also make great houseplants and add some fun green leaves in winter. This is not the best picture, but there is a sweet potato plant in the back left. I have more ways to use sweet potatoes in the blog article, which is linked in the description. Here is one of my favorites, sweet potato pie. You can check out my video on growing regular potatoes next or see what re YouTube recommends here. Thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.